Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Ustaz Hamza, and this video is very specifically made on request, request of, uh, of thousands of followers asking me loads of questions about how I teach online. My name is Ustaz Hamza, I'm a Quran teacher, calligrapher, I'm also a presenter of Madrasa TV show where we teach Quran, Qaeda, and Arabic writing. I've been teaching for the last 10 years. And since the COVID-19 situation that we all face, I started teaching more and more online. Good evening, my friends. Welcome to how are you? How you come this way? to stand up and because I use from the sea. I am sure and all the people will listen to my talk. Questions. Now, I know you guys have a lot of questions on how I teach eight hours a day, every single day online and what methods I use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get our Salim Bhai here involved. Assalamu alaikum Salim Bhai. So what we're going to do, Salim Bhai is going to take your side and ask me all the questions that you guys have been asking. Uh, should I buy an iPad? Well, the answer is no. When you're teaching someone, you have three elements. You have a student and a teacher and a content. Content are the books that you use to teach a student or the whiteboard that you use. Or it can be an iPad. Uh, then why do you have iPad? Well, the reason I use iPad because back in 2017, uh, there, was, there was a student and his parents really wanted me to teach him and his siblings. So they used to drive down and pick me from East London, take me to their house and then bring me back. And what happens after summer holidays when kids went back to school, I didn't have any time. They wanted me to continue teaching their kids. And for that reason, I have to buy some sort of technology. I didn't have a good phone like the one I'm using at the moment to record. And I didn't have a PC. So I decided to buy something. Um, the, the student was Ibrahim and Ibrahim's mom suggested that if I buy something from Apple, she can get me some discount. And so I went for it and I bought an iPad. Now, when I bought an iPad, it was really expensive. And it wasn't really worth me teaching one student. Think of it like a business. You buy something that cost almost a thousand pound just to teach one student. And depending on how much they pay you, it's not really worth it. So I bought an iPad with an idea in my mind that I'm going to start something called online business. And my online brand is going to be ustadhamza.com where I'm going to find all the students who are really serious about learning Quran and teach them all online. So that was the beginning of my brand. Uh, how do you use iPad? Well, back in the days, iPad wasn't really that helpful. Why? Because all the applications that you use to teach online, such as Skype, Zoom, or whatever it can be, um, um, they, they didn't have options such as options you have in PC. For example, you can't really share screen here back then in 2017. And it wasn't really something uh, um, reliable in that sense. So what I had to do, I have to get my phone turn the camera on and put it right in front of my iPad. And whatever I write on the iPad, which could have been, you know, a book, to be honest, a student was, was able to see it through the phone. So it wasn't really helpful back then. But now, alhamdulillah, as apps keep developing, uh, these apps that I used to teach have more and more features, same features that you will find in a PC if you're teaching student using a laptop or computer. Uh, uh, but is it good enough? Well, but this is something that I've been using since 2017. It's easy, it's simple, and it's reliable. And the battery lasts for forever. So it is something good. Uh, come on, there have to be some problems. Well, you see, nothing is perfect, right? So this iPad, as I use it every single day, um, recently I had some issues. The memory was full, and they keep telling me to buy more memory. Second problem I have with this iPad, it doesn't really give me multitasking options like a computer so in in the ipad if you if you have a look at the screen here you you boom you go in you use a single app and you're out uh, it doesn't really give you option to do too many things at the same time you can only do one thing at a time all the apps you use in on ipad they have limited options so for example you can do so much more using an application such as zoom if you're using it from pc uh, compared to if you're just using it on an iPad. So to solve that problem, I bought something called a PC. And I'm very excited to do a review on this. Uh, we call this Microsoft Surface. This is an amazing device. <laughs> and this is basically an iPad 
well it looks like an iPad and uh, well it's actually a computer it's not just an iPad it's lovely it looks cool it has a pen and you know what uh, I'll tell you guys and I'll be very honest with you I know it looks like I'm showing off I printed the label and I'm returning it today I just did not find it as efficient as using an iPad remember when you're teaching a student you're not teaching them forever you only have one hour and in that hour you just want something that can get the teaching done in the best way possible what I'm going to do I'm gonna face the camera I'm gonna show you the screen I'm gonna show you what happens as I teach inside this PC compared to what happens uh, when I'm teaching inside this iPad uh, show me show me show me bro right so starting this PC is like restarting an entire economy after COVID-19 now you get into an app by clicking well a few clicks and you into the app and you can start teaching that's fine there are way too many options that you have to pick and choose from which just confused my mind iPad was is way simpler way 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 simpler and has limited options now when it comes to notes that you are going to create and you're going to share with your students of course you can use notes that you can save on the computer you don't even need Wi-Fi network to uh, to create those notes but I would rather create notes on an app that I can actually share with my students like Google Keep well if I need to open Google Keep I have to wait another two well maybe two three minutes for them for all the notes to upload that's another hustle pen I didn't really like the way pen interacts with this uh, it can be a bit confused sometimes it can be slightly inaccurate and it's not really giving me a very satisfying outcome time consuming and then you have to worry about so many different things at the same time let's come so many different compare it to iPad very simple very easy let me show you how this thing off thing on boom it's on you want to teach there you go all it takes a minute you're in the zoom and there you go you inside zoom call over internet now if you want to share something you can share for all uh, so again you have a very you have limited options to share yeah and if you want to share your screen for example there you go three two one very limited options and you know things are very simple very easy now the student can see your entire screen you want to use um, Apple notes or Google keep to create notes all you have to do press an app boom you inside the app you in the app you out the app you know very simple very easy you want to take notes um, record their progress something you do Google documents so you don't really have to um, have a Wi-Fi connection even to use these notes things are very simple and easy here now let's say you want to show an example or you want to teach from Quran there you go you're in the Quran you double press there you go you press two buttons and there you go it takes a screenshot you can zoom in explain something and you're out after you explain something you can either save it or you can send it to this touch thing you can touch screen is very smooth and you know you can use pen pen is also perfect it's awesome look i love it the way it interacts with your screen is like it's perfect like it really feels like a pen and paper experience either you're using it on this or any other note the pen does an absolute beautiful job i love the way pen interacts with everything here a very long lengthy video, video on everything that I do on this iPad things I use how I use them and why do I choose certain apps to create notes or on app and everything but the bottom line is it is very simple very easy very convenient to use hey guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and share this video with your family and friends yes don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of cool and exciting things there, such as calligraphy and daily Quran lesson. I'm super active on Instagram. I'm going to leave the link in the description. See you guys later. Salam alaikum. Yeah.